Hey, I'm Ryan with DIY Painting Tips, and in this video, I'm going to go over the best exterior paints and more importantly, how to choose the best exterior paint for you and for your home. And here's a, hint, a little hint for you there is no bad choice for your home. All of the exterior paints today are great. What we have to sift through is all the marketing and the pricing and the mind games they're playing with us and really dig below the surface to find what is the best product. So you may be wondering why I'm on a computer screen here. I could go to the store and buy a gallon of everything and show it all to you and be really wasteful. It's not just wasteful for me to spend all that money, but it's wasteful you know, on the environment. And I don't wanna do that. And I have been painting for 20 years now, over 20 years. I started painting in 2001 and I have painted hundreds, if not thousands of exteriors, kitchen cabinets, interiors, commercial buildings. I have used every single product I'm going to be talking about here today. And if there's one I bring up that I haven't used, I will let you know, but I can still tell you what I think of it. I've got enough knowledge in this area where we can do this right on the computer. And I think it can provide you with better information this way than if I was standing here pretending to paint boards and then hitting them with a hammer, that's not gonna do it. So let's dive in. First of all, you're not gonna wanna buy any paint online. That's just not the way to do it. There are a couple, couple exceptions as I say this, but for the most part, you can't physically see the color. You can't, you know, have the gallon in front of you, double check it. So we are only gonna be going over paints that you can most likely get somewhere close to you right now. To me, that's Benjamin Moore, Sherwin-Williams, Lowe's, Bear. And there's another one I want to talk about, Ecos Paint. And Menards has Dutch Boy. I don't use Dutch Boy a lot, but Dutch Boy is a great fine paint. The beauty of exterior paint today is that every brand is making an absolutely great product. They all have lifetime warranties for the most part, or 25-year warranties. They all have interlocking technology. They all are, you know, stain resistant. They are all fade resistant. They all offer mold and mildew resistance. For the most part, they're all low, if not zero VOC. So where, where are we making our decision? Well, we can check a few of these things and check the VOCs, but really the difference in your price point at the end of the day matters more about their marketing and what they want you to believe in their paint than anything. Let's talk about stain blocking for a second. I have some opinions about stain blocking. On the exterior of a home, you're not going to get stains on your home. If you have your sprinkler spraying water on your home and you get some hard water stains, guess what? You shouldn't be spraying your sprinkler on your home. Fix that. Don't think it's a paint issue. Fix it. I have done uh, apartment buildings, masses of townhomes where Every penny counted and we had to get the cheapest contractor grade paint we could get. And those things have held up for 20 plus years. It's all about painting right and priming right when necessary. Even on interiors, I have, I have seven kids. Our living room and kitchen, they can get filthy, but stain blocking, easy washability, far overrated. When they slap a permanent marker on the wall, it doesn't matter what paint you've got on the wall. You're repainting it. Just keep a little bit of paint. Touch up. We don't have to be buying $80, $90 a gallon paint. That doesn't change anything. Some other things we need to talk about quick. Durability. The best paints from the best brands all have amazing durability. Uh, no matter what anyone says, if you paint it right, they will last. I could not point to a paint on the market that if you put it on right, won't give you a 15 to 20 year paint job. And that's on you know, the worst paints you get your hands on. And I can't even see them failing then. It's just not gonna happen unless it is application error. I have had Sherwin-Williams, I've had Benjamin Moore, I've gotten one-off gallons where something was wrong with the batch, that can happen, but that's more about warranty than the actual quality of the paint. So I actually believe that warranty is one of the bigger points in decision-making on choosing an exterior paint. Low VOCs as well. This matters more on an interior where you're in a room and you're gonna be breathing that all in. I'm very big on making sure we have a low or zero VOC paint, which thankfully almost all the brands are doing now. Under five is considered zero, under 50 is considered low. Adding colorant can change that, but you can't control that. Um, on the exterior, it matters a little bit less about your general health, but it still is releasing into the environment, so we do still care about those VOCs. Oil versus water, there's no reason to use oil, none. 
not on a general residential exterior for any reason. Those are very specific cases, specific paint jobs where I'm grabbing an oil-based product. Primers. Most quality exterior paints are paint and primer in one and their warranties are valid. Going ahead and painting directly onto wood, metal, aluminum, vinyl, previously painted surfaces, whatever. But there is a case where I'm a big prom proponent of primers and that is when you have peeling paint. Zinser Peel Stop, I've got a review on that on my website. Go ahead and check it out on DIY Painting Tips. You can read more about this product. It's a wonderful product. Basically, I like to compare it to painting your house with a coat of Elmer's glue, and it really just glues all that paint on so that you can paint over it and not have future peeling paint. You can put the best paint on top, but if you're, the paint underneath it is peeling, it's going to fall off. It's going to create a problem. So we want to make sure to prime peeling paint with something like Zinser Peel Stop or Peel Bond from uh, Sherwin-Williams sells Peel Bond. Um, those are the two I can think of off the top of my head. A little bit expensive. You can see Zinser Peel Stop is $53 a gallon. But that would be the one time I would recommend a primer. Other than that, I usually am using paint and primer in one. So let's jump in and I'm just going to be up front with you and jump to my personal top pick for exterior painting and that is is bare. I absolutely love bare paint for interior and exterior. There is multiple reasons for this. I tend to go with bare ultra right here in the middle. Uh, you can see bare premium plus exterior paint is $41 a gallon. Premium plus is 49 and marquee is 59. Even 59 is not a bad price for exterior paint. That's pretty cheap. But even with bare ultra, we get the stain blocking. It's paint and primer in one, and it's got a lifetime warranty. If we go down here, you know, just like everything else, excellent durability, stain and dirt resistance, 200 to 400 square feet a gallon. Your coverage of the paint matter is gonna be more about how you apply it than, than what paint you're using or anything like that. Low temperature application, that used to mean 50 degrees. Now almost every paint is rated down to 32 to 36 degrees. Typically recoat is in two to four hours and you're gonna see that on every single paint I show you today. Uh, enhanced mildew resistance, it's got that. And the VOC content is 21 grams per liter. So that means this is a low VOC product. All right, I am, I'm happy with 21 grams per liter. Uh, high VOCs is anything in my opinion, that one to four, five hundred. Four or five hundred is where it starts to burn your eyes. Um, so this is this is great. You will find that um, Premium Plus has a 25 year warranty. So if you do need to save some money, I have no issues using Premium Plus either. If I paint my exterior and it lasts 25 years, I am absolutely thrilled. If you paint your home with this, and you do it right, you will not have any issues. Here's a big reason why I really like Bear. You can go into Home Depot if there's an issue with your individual paint and they will just swap it out on the spot. Almost no questions asked. Um, I was one of the first testers of their vinyl safe paints and I had to call up Bear and it was the easiest warranty work I've ever experienced. They actually sent a crew out and resided the home. It was no problem. When I've had warranty work with Sherwin-Williams, they actually send out a sales rep, take samples, send them to the lab. It feels like they're always trying to show you it was your fault, not theirs. Where Bear was just like, we're gonna make you happy, don't worry about it. So Bear's, Bear was easier to work with, warranties from my experience. My next favorite exterior paint is actually Valspar. Again, because I feel they make just as good of products as Bear, they make just as good of products as Sherwin-Williams, and they make just as good a product as Benjamin Moore, only it's cheaper than Sherwin and Benjamin Moore. They offer more options than Bear. Bear just has their three, which I do like, but if we go through here, there's five exterior options. To actually see the prices and everything for Valspar, we gotta go to Lowe's.com. And then we can see that their Valspar Duramax is $51 a gallon. They have Season Flex, this is one of their lower ones, for $40 a gallon. They have HGTV Home by Sherwin Williams, this is $55 a gallon. Again, it offers all the same things you're gonna see on the other ones. The, the dirt and stain blocking, the paint and primer in one, you see that exterior paint and primer. 
Extra protection from cracking, peeling, blistering, all weather protection, shields, paint surface from harsh weather conditions, you know, all the normal things. Weather shield is actually rated down to 35 degrees. We can paint in as low as 35 degrees. Like I said, you're gonna see 32 to 36 degrees. We can recoat rain ready in one and a half hours. That's pretty standard now too. Mold, mildew, algae resistance, same things we read on bear. It also offers a lifetime warranty. So you'll find that this is actually very comparable to um, Bear Ultra, $40, $49, dollars $55. So similar price, similar features on the paint, uh, similar lifetime warranty. So if you have a Lowe's closer or a Home Depot closer, to be honest, whichever one's closer to you, that's how I'm making my decision on what exterior paint I'm gonna use. Now, if you go to a paint company and you have them come out and give you a bid on your home, they're going to have a preferred paint. Typically, that is because they have a deal with that paint company. I had deals with Sherwin-Williams that got me cheaper paint at Sherwin-Williams than I could get anywhere else, so I would stay loyal to Sherwin-Williams. Then Hirschfield's local Minnesota company would come out and say, we have this similar product, we want to get your business, we'll give it to you lower. Then a bear rep would come and say, we're gonna go even lower. So they might say Sherwin is the only way to go, it's the only one we use, but it's not because of quality, it's because of business, and that's fine. That makes a lot of sense. All right, so I'm gonna put Super Paint um, in duration. I, I think they're both right in the exact same boat as Bear Ultra. And you will see on Sherwin-Williams here, so depending on what sheen you get, flat is cheaper, uh, semi-gloss gloss is more expensive. You're starting at $70 for super paint and you're going to almost $90 for duration. One reason I do not like Sherwin-Williams for homeowners is because they remind me very much of Kohl's. If you go into Kohl's and pay full price, you're a sucker. But you never know what you're actually gonna pay. There's always a sale. Buy three, get the, do a scratch off. You might get 10%, 20%, 30%. It feels like you're always getting hosed. Sherwin has always got some sale going on all times of the year and they can never just put their best price forward. Another reason I like Bear. This is the price. I have never seen a sale. That's the price. You will see 30 different sales at Sherwin-Williams over the course of a year and they're all different and they all are gimmicky and they can't just come out and tell you. That being said, Duration has a lifetime warranty. It's going to have all the mold, mildew, resistance, paint and primer in one, everything you're looking for. Super Paint, last time I checked, I believe it was 25 year warranty. So technically you might you know, warranty wise, you're going to compare that to Bear Premium Plus, which is $40 a gallon compared to their $70 a gallon. So say your exterior takes you 25 gallons to paint, 25 times 30, you're saving $750 by going to Bear over Sherwin-Williams. So I'm going to drive further, even if Sherwin is the closest to my home, I'm going to drive further just to go get my Bear paint unless I have some great deal worked out with Sherwin-Williams or there's a great sale. But once you tie it into a place too, every time you need your touch-up paint or anything like that, if you spray your sprinklers all over and get that hard water stain, you're gonna have to get more. So Sherwin is just, they're, they're kind of expensive. Uh, Emerald is a step up from duration. Emerald's a phenomenal, absolutely wonderful paint. But I guarantee you, you're not gonna notice the difference if your home was painted with super paint, duration, or Emerald. What matters, far, or resilience. Resilience is another wonderful paint. Again, 80 to 86, 100 to 105 up here. What matters most of all is will they honor their warranty and are you applying it correctly? Did you clean your home? Did you power wash it? Did you caulk everything up? Does water leak in behind it? Anything like that. Did you prime your peeling paint with something like Peel Bond? That matters so much more. So we're going to go Bear, Valspar, Sherwin-Williams, and last but not least, not due to quality, is Benjamin Moore. Benjamin Moore is fantastic. Absolutely love their products. Beautiful colors. They market themselves as premium, high-end, used by decorators, and all the fancy people 
we offer the fancy lush paint. They offer the same stinking paint that everyone else offers, but you pay more. Now, we can't see the prices of everything on their website. They only show us prices on two of them, but if we go to Ace, which is the biggest supplier, we can look up Aura, Regal, Select, and Ben right here. And Aura is $85 a gallon for their exterior paint. Regal Select is $71 for low luster exterior paint. So again, we're dealing with the same thing, lifetime warranty. They're gonna probably give us all those same thing. Resist fading, cracking, peeling, same thing everyone else says. One thing we can find on here is their VOC levels, 50 grams per liter. That's not enough to make me run away in the other direction, but it is higher than the other ones we have checked out. So if you remember right, uh, Bear Ultra is uh, 21 grams per liter and Bear Premium Plus is about 10 or so. Last but not least, if we jump on over to Menards, say you've got Menards close by. Menards offers Dutch Boy, which has two different exterior brands. They have DuraClean and Dutch Boy Forever, both of their exterior paints. So again, we've got paint and primer in one. So this is gonna go right over your old existing color, your bare metal, your bare wood, whatever you've got. Uh, same over here on DuraClean, uh, paint and primer in one. And they both have backed by a lifetime warranty. Lifetime warranty. And then let's check out some of these other things. 35 degree temperature application, uh, resist mildew, recoat in four hours, award-winning twist and pour container, oh my. UV and stain blocking technology provides exceptional hide and fade resistance. I have used Dutch Boy. I have got no issues whatsoever with Dutch Boy. It's a fantastic product. We jump over here to uh, DuraClean, all the same things. I half wonder if they all use the exact same formula and they just market it different. I will tell you this, remember, the people behind the counter are retail employees and they are very wonderful people for mixing your paint. No matter what they say though, they may not have painted anything other, you know, they know what they're supposed to say. They probably know all the things listed on the back of the container. And they will always tell you, you wanna get that nice paint. If you go into Home Depot, they're gonna tell, well, if you want the good one that's gonna give you a really good finish, you gotta get Marquee if you want it to last. Well, guess what? We've got a lifetime warranty and a 25 year warranty anyway. So, best cheap paint, Dutch Boy. Go into Menards, Dutch Boy Forever, Dutch Boy DuraClean. Both wonderful exterior paints with lifetime warranties. Paint them down to 35 degrees. Mold, mildew resistance, fading, cracking, peeling, all the things. Put it on right, you're gonna have a great product for a long time to come. My personal favorite, go get yourself some Bear Ultra. Love it. I use the same thing on interiors, Bear Ultra. Um, I very rarely go to Marquee unless I've got a homeowner who really thinks that they need the fancy stuff. After that, if you're one, oh, Lowe's, if Lowe's happens to be closer to you, excuse me, that's their data sheets. Um, any of the products from Lowe's are great as well. They tend to be a little bit more. You got 67, 55, but barely more than Home Depot. Any of these are great products. Um, Lowe's, Home Depot, Valspar, Bear, both wonderful products. Um, if you feel the need to go with the, you know, listen to the marketing, get yourself some Benjamin Moore. You will not be upset. They will have a wonderful product and it will look fantastic. Same with Sherwin Williams, wonderful products. They will look fantastic. Only difference is you'll just spend more because these will look fantastic and they'll last a long time as well. So these are just my opinions based on 20 years of painting. They're all offering great exterior painting products now. So it's about who is close, who offers, um, who's gonna help you the most, and who has the best pricing in my opinion. So hopefully that helped you out, helped you make your decisions. Make sure to check out uh, our channel for more videos like this. Check out the website if you want some good tutorials. You can print them off on how to paint your kitchen cabinets, how to paint exteriors, everything like that. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Have a great day.